Vincent Zagata is concerned. He doesn't think it's, uh, it's necessary at this point. But do you still feel it's important? Do you want to uh, elaborate on uh, why you feel this, uh, this is needed? Well, John, uh, there's, uh, there's a number of reasons why I feel it's needed. But let me start by saying that uh, our state's attorney does support the fact that we need to have a forensic audit. And I have, uh, throughout this whole process, I have deferred to Greg because he is our, he is our, uh, he is our legal expert. Um, and each time, just this week, I have had two communications with Greg, and in both communications, we talked about the fact that there is a need for the forensic audit. So first of all, we have this legal uh, reason that I believe we need it. But then there's two practical things. Uh, that I believe is, is why we need to have it. One, whoever the new treasurer is, I would think would want to know for certain if there's any other issues out there anywhere. Uh, that's reason number one. And the second reason is, I believe the citizens of Mercer County deserve to know for sure how much was taken. Uh, I don't think anybody really knows. Uh, and, you know, what was discovered in phase one may be everything, but it may not be. And let's say it was another half a million dollars. And I'm not saying that's the amount, because I don't know. But uh, I do think that the citizens do deserve uh, to know, uh, in, in finality, uh, what was taken. And then I was uh, shown the, uh, the agenda for Tuesday night. I think uh, Senator Brian, uh, uh, he said he probably wasn't going to take it, uh, to bring it to vote to a vote on uh, Tuesday night. Uh, your thoughts on that? Well, you know, quite frankly, uh, like I said in the press conference, I've reached out to Jeff a number of times this week, uh, and I've given to Jeff all the business reasons why uh, there's no reason to delay this appointment. Uh, clearly, there's 120 days of time that Sandy could work with Bev and Phyllis and implement this forensic audit. Most of these recommendations have not been implemented because we have not had a sitting treasurer. Now that's that's unconscionable. We can do better. The citizens of Mercer County deserve better. So I don't understand why Jeff would delay this. I, I, I sent him a detailed email. I sent him a phone call. I reached out to Jeff all week, and I'm just very surprised with with this uh, delay. Uh, it makes no sense to me. There are business reasons why we need to move forward. And I think if Jeff thinks that we're going to save a month's salary, uh, 411 Jeff, the treasurer's salary was budgeted for the entire year uh, in the budget. So it's already in the budget. It's approved. And, and uh, I believe it should be spent and spent smartly. Not, not, not like uh, drunken sailors, but this would be a smart, tactical decision put Sandy in place to address these critical issues along with the frenzy guide. Very good.